Welcome back to Dober Brothers. This time, we're not doing a challenge. We're not pranking anyone. This time, it's something serious, guys. I just got into an accident. I hit a deer on the freeway. As you can see, I'm stopped on the side of the road. I'll turn on the car right now. Damages are bad. I'm gonna get out the car right now and show you guys the damages. Most important, I'm grateful to be alive and to continue to do what I love, spread good energy, good vibes. Life's not always perfect. Come back stronger, things happen, but the most important thing is that you're safe. So let's just go take a look at these damages before the tow truck gets here. This is crazy, guys. It just happened here at night. I'll show you where it happened. Yo, let's take a look at this car. Oh my gosh. The whole front went up here. It happened right back there. Look, I can't even open the door. It's blocked from opening the door. It's crazy. Look, this whole part right here is coming off. That's probably why I can't open the door. I'm just so grateful that, oh man, everyone behind me was safe. You can still see the hair from the deer. Oh my gosh, look at that. What I don't understand is how the deer just, I don't know, just ran across the whole freeway, I guess. That deer was grinding, bro, but like in the wrong place. Definitely wasn't something I could avoid, guys. It just popped out of nowhere. It's crazy how things can happen so fast. I already called my family, told them I'm okay. I'm gonna get a tow to the house, and we'll look at the damage in the daytime. Always be grateful, guys, every day for everything. Never take it for granted. Things can change so fast in a negative way. Looks like the tow truck just arrived, guys. Let's go talk to them. We're about to back up now. Oh, man, sad to see the Aston going, bro. He needs to go to the operation room. All right, boss. I'm good, I'm safe. That's the most important. Deer? <laughs> yeah, deer. Thanks for coming out here and helping out. Right now, the tow truck driver's looking for the tow pin for the, uh, for the front of the car so they can make it work. The Aston's on the tow truck. Shout out to Aaron, helping me put the car on the tow. God bless everyone out there. God bless all the tow truck drivers, everyone contributing to the community. All right, guys, Aston is about to leave. This could have been a lot worse. If the deer would have hit the windshield, I don't know what could have happened, but we'll talk more about it in the daytime tomorrow. See you soon. So guys, I'm on my way back now in the daytime in the Uber, and this is exactly what the road looked like, but it's on the other side over there. And I guess, yeah, just the deer came out of the woods, and it's topped over, and I just happened to hit it, and the odds are just crazy. All right, guys, I just pulled up to the house. The emergency lights and warning lights are still going off. Um, the brothers haven't seen the car yet, so it's time to get the reactions. At the end of the day, I made it home safe, so let's do it. What's up, bro? Just happy to be walking. That's why you're tattooing, you okay? You guys gotta see the car. It's crazy, man. I only told my parents because it happened so fast, but I hit a deer, bro, on the highway. Seriously? Yeah, on the highway, dude. It oh just, just popped up. What's up, guys? Uh, I gotta show you guys something outside. I hit a deer. No way. Yeah, and the car is like total. Which car? The Aston. Really? Yeah. It's outside. Yeah, you guys gotta come see it. Like, Are you okay? I'm good now. Yeah, I was a little bit in shock when it first happened. I'll tell you the whole story. I'm just grateful to be okay, you know? That's most important. Yeah. We're happy you're okay, bro. Is the car total or is yeah. it okay? And this is not a prank. This is real. Were you with him or? No, no, no. Hey, just come take a look at it. This that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yo, what? Oh my gosh. It looks yeah. total. Yeah, that's bad, man. I was driving, just bumping to music, and a deer just jumped in front, right in front. I hit it um, right upon impact. You know, I still stayed stable, um, stayed calm. It happened so fast. I looked behind me, I saw the car swerve behind me like this, like they were dodging something, probably the deer that I hit, or a part that fell off the car. And, um, and all the emergency lights started coming up, the warning lights, you know, stopped, and I stopped to the side very slowly, and it is what it is. I'm just grateful to be alive. You can see the deer hair on it. That's wild. Coolant, all that is messed up. Like all these lights are popping up, and yo, the first 15 seconds when I stopped on the side of the road, I was, I was yelling. I was like, yo, like my luck, like this is crazy, like why, you know? But after that, you just gotta be calm and take care of the situation. I had to call insurance, got it all done, and towed up here to Aston, man. R.I.P. I mean, at least it didn't go through the windshield, you know? Yeah, it's that's what I was worse. thinking. The tow truck driver, when he came to pick me up, he said he saw the deer was all the way on the other side of the highway, like it flew when I hit it. I can't even open this door right here. Headlight too. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. It doesn't even open? Nah, because this is blocking it. I'm just glad you're safe. Like, the deer is probably in worse condition than yeah. Well, yeah. you and the car, you know? So, that's sad, though. Make sure you guys are safe out there. And I mean, the craziest things happen unexpectedly. You know, I'm sure Cyrus wasn't even able to avoid it, nah. especially on the highway. Like, I was going the speed limit, 70 miles per hour, speed limit 70, um, and it just popped out. I just mm. hit it. A couple weeks ago, I just got my Lambo back because there was a piece of glass on the highway, and it was like spinning fast towards me. Two cars, one on my left, one on my right, and it just cut off my AC. Like, I, there was nothing I could do about it. And like, I had no AC, no cool air for a week. Yeah. It was nighttime too, so I couldn't see it coming, you know? Um, and then uh, your insurance can give you some money back or something. We got stuff for you it out. Like I said, life is priceless. Mom and dad haven't seen it yet, but they were worried. I called them first, so. I mean, at the end of the day, like, in these situations, guys, you gotta stay calm, figure it out. You know, when it happens, on impact, stay as calm as possible, as focused as possible to get the car straight and keep going, pull up to the side of the road. It would've been easy to lose control because it was, you know, rain. If I would've braked, I probably would've spun out. Yeah. So, no, you did the right thing. I heard when you hit a deer, you're not supposed to break. Just mm -hmm. keep going. I'm about to call mom and dad up here, see what they think. Yo, Steve, look at the badge, bro. Maybe we could keep the badge, though. Put it in the garage or something. Yeah. Are they gonna come pick it up? Yeah, the tow company's coming right now. Maybe they'll give you a new Aston. It'll probably take a few months to fix, because we don't know what else is damaged in there, honestly. Yeah, I mean, if the frame is, if the frame is damaged, it's, it's total, you know? Alright, uh, we're about to go inside, call the tow truck to see how far away they are. But let us know if you need anything. Alright, my parents are coming now. Cyrus! Oh my God. I'm so glad you are okay. So glad you are alright. Don't worry. It's just a car. You can always get another car. I'm just glad that you're fine, you're safe. That's the most important. I know you guys were worried when I called you too, but I was like on the phone with insurance and like I was trying to get everything done, you know, it was the middle of the night. We're worried you're out there on the highway in the dark. Don't I'm worry. So sorry about the deer too. Yeah, it sucks, but... They'll fix it, don't worry. They'll fix it, it'll be like brand new. I'm so grateful you are okay. <laughs> Life is fragile. This is like the fourth deer I've hit, yeah. literally, but this is probably the worst one that I've had so far, the worst crash. Yeah, I mean, when I turn on the car, look, look what it says on the warning lights. Are you trying to open the hood? Yeah, I can open I don't think you can open I think the hood is already open. Look, if I start to drive the car. Please apply parking brake. It doesn't even let me drive the car. Transmission I'm, I don't know. Car, drive it. Rev it. Not too hard though. Jeez. I think the engine is good. The engine might still be good, guys. Let's not push it. Let's not push it. So before I was getting warning lights about the coolant and stuff, I'm pretty sure that's definitely just destroyed right now. It's leaking. I think it just might be coolant though. Oh. I don't think it's a bad lead. Yeah. The engine sounds good, so that's great. Yeah, it's still popping. It should be just a hood. The first thing I noticed when I hit the deer though, uh -huh. I noticed the hood right away was up. And I was like, dang bro, like, what happened to the deer, <laughs> you know? I feel sorry for the deer, you know? What can you do? Oh, the thing is here, daddy. Look, look, here, from here. Can you open it? We have to do it together, yeah, it's open. Let's do it together. Cool it out. Side. It's stuck. Maybe you shouldn't. Yeah. Should we just leave it? Yeah. Not damage it anymore? Yeah, maybe yeah. you should leave it like that. These are all replaceable, you know? The materialistic things, but the family you got to have your back, that's something that you'll have for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah. So I'm grateful yeah. God is good. I was protected and um, life goes on. Let's keep the grind going. Yeah, you let's know? do it, bro. bro With every low, they're made for you to come back higher. Also, we have to accept good and bad from life. I mean, the good is we're able to make a video out of it, you know? And also that, well, I never you take life safe. for granted. Yeah, I never take life for granted. Even yeah. before this, I'm grateful for life every day. I pray and I'm grateful for it. It just, sometimes it happens and it's just like, all right, how are you gonna bounce back, yeah. you know? So, 
That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.